Sometimes we get a condition where you don't want to display all the data at once. Initially we display some data and when we scroll down, we load more data. This kind of behavior you typically see in the social media apps like Instagram or Facebook or even in YouTube. You might even spend much more time of your day on just scrolling down. So we are gonna learn that thing in this tutorial. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel please make sure to subscribe it hey there everyone it's Ravindra here so let's get started so write down this command ng new angular 23 routing it will enable the routing module in your application and style equals to scss it means we are going to use sas in our project so after that press enter and it will create a new project for you now write code angular 23 and it will open this project into a visual studio now you need to install some packages so write down here npm install ngx in finite scroll okay and press enter and it will install this package from nuget sorry not nuget npm now we need to import that module so open the app module.ts file and we need to import infinite scroll so we have to write this thing and copy infinite scroll module and put it down in the imports array now we are fine so close this one because we have to display some data in our application so we need some kind of data for that and we are not going to use any apis for that we are going to create some mock services for that from where we will fetch some data so just type this nggs services pagination dummy and it will create a pagination dummy service inside the services folder and right now we don't have a services folder but it will create for us so just type this command now we can check it here inside the app directory we have this services folder and we have this service so open this one this type script file now we need to write some logic inside this pagination dummy service.ts file so for that we are going to import these three things delay observable and off from rxjs and now we need some length that that means we are going to add total 100 items and means we are going to create an array of 100 items so we need to create a method get items where page equals to 1 and item per page equals to 10 and these two are the optional parameters it means if we don't pass the page and items per page then these values will be set so by default our page will be 1 and items per page will be 10 and it will be of type observable of a string array now we need to create some kind of pagination logic so we are going to write here const start index and we will find this index with this logic it means page minus 1 into index per page so if we are passing page equals to 1 it means our index will be 1 minus 1 means 0 into item per page means 10 it means initially the start index will be 0 if we pass page equals to 2 then our start index will be 2 minus 1 into 10 means 10 so when we click on the next page and pass the 2 so its start index will be 2 sorry 10 now with this logic we will find the end index start index plus items per page so in the initial condition our starts index will be 0 and an index will be 10 so we will return item from index 0 to 10 so that's the first condition or initial condition now let's create an empty array and 
now we need to define a loop where i equals to start index and i is less than end index and we will increment the i so here we are going to check if i is less than total items then we are going to push item i plus one it means first first item will be item one second item will be item two and so on okay and we are going to create an observable from these items and now we are going to fake that this item is getting delayed so that we can mock the real behavior of apis where we get data on little bit delay so i am going to delay it for 500 milliseconds you can increase it if you want so just type here pipe and pass delay 500 now our mock service has been created successfully you can save this thing and close it now we need to create and create the component where we are going to display that infinite scroll functionality so just type here nggc components slash ngx infinite scroll and it will create this component inside the components folder right now we don't have this folder but it will create one for us so let's wait and let's see what it is going to do okay so it has created this folder for us now open the app.component.html file and you have some boiler code boilerplate code here i have already deleted it so delete that code and paste this code inside this file so let's run this project and let's see how it is working so if i type here ng serve open it will open this app for us now you can see that this thing is working fine and gnx ngx infinite scroll works so now move to the visual studio code and close this one and move here so let's open this thing this ngx infinite scroll dot component dot ts file so we are going to write some code here so first thing we are going to do here we are going to define this thing implements on init and for that just press here control dot and it will add this on component in import section now if we press here control dot it will say quick fix implement interface on init and it will create this thing for us that's fine let's remove this guy okay now we need to define some things here so next thing we need to define which is very important is constructor so type here ctor and it will create this thing for us so now let's import the service we have created earlier and that was pagination dummy service so private private pagination service and pagination dummy service so press control dot here and it will include this line in the top so i'm gonna press control c so that they can move to the next line okay fine so it will import this pagination dummy service from this this this, this location now let's remove these stars we do not need them right now now we need to define some fields here so first one will be items which will store the string array which we are getting from the pagination service now we need to define is loading which will be false by default so it will show the loading message whenever is loading equals to true now current page will be 1 by default and item per page will be 10 by default you can change it if you want so here we need to create a method for toggling the loading message so whenever we call this method it will toggle the value of is loading so it will be simply this dot is loading equals to 
negation of this dot is loading so it is our toggle loading function now we will create a method that is called when our component gets initialized means we need a method that will load the data on the component initialization so this method will be called load data and we are gonna call this method toggle loading so when whenever it is trying to load the data it will display a message is loading equals to true and it means it is going to display a loading message when our data is getting loaded now we need to call the pagination service and get items method of this service we will pass two arguments this dot current page and this dot items per page now we need to subscribe this method and when we subscribe this we have to pass the next and in response we will get some math some kind of data which is an array of a string in this case and we will store it in our items array now we need to define an error section where we simply log the error in the console now we have a complete section so it will call this toggle loading method so whenever loading will be finished it will toggle the is loading and now our loading message will be hide from the page now our load data method has been finished now what we simply need to do we have to call this method on ng on in it okay that is fine now initially we will call this load data method which will load 10 items initially but when we scroll down our page it will append 10 more rows into it and when we scroll down further it will add more 10 rows into it and it will happen so on until we have fetched all the 100 records so when we scroll down it will call a method on scrolling down so we are going to define that method which will fetch the next 10 records from the database and append to an existing array so load data load data method is is getting or fetching initial 10 data and we are assigning those 10 data into an array but but this new method which we are going to create it will append that data into an existing array so let's see how it is going to work so first of all we need to create this method so this method will be called on scrolling the page okay and it will be an append data method where we are going to toggle our loading same thing that we have done before in the previous method we are going to call the page edition service till now it is the same as the previous one so we are repeating the stuff here but here the things changed now we are using this spread operator and we are changing the value of array so we are assigning the value to the array with these spread operators it means we are concatenating two arrays here so first array we are getting from the previous or the previous array and we are also appending our response here okay so here we are defining the error section the same thing we have done before and on completion we will toggle the loading now now we need to define a method which will be call on the scroll event so this method will be called on scroll event and inside this method we are going to call the append data and we will we will increase the number of increase the 
value of this current page by one so whenever we scroll down its value will be increased by one and this append data method will be called so now we have done this part now we can move into the ui part so open this one and now we are going to define some lines of code here obviously first we need to remove this thing from here now just create a div here and we are going to assign some properties here so first we will assign class search result and we will implement this css later first we will see that infinite scroll what it is doing it is just a directive that we are calling here so that this div can implement the infinite scroll functionality now we have this property which is infinite scroll distance it's and its value is 2 and what it is mean so look at this scroll so when i move it here just before the bottom so here its value is 2 so when i will reach to this location just before the bottom it will fire an event of appending more data into this div and here we will define one more property which will be infinite scroll throttle throttle means we are delaying the things so it it might be possible that we are scrolling ruthlessly up and down up and down and it will load some data for us we do not want that kind of failure so we need some stability here and when 500 milliseconds passed then it will load the data before that it will not load any data so the scroll event will happen at most the 500 milliseconds now here we have this event which is scrolled and it will call on scroll method when it have infinite scroll distance equal to 2 it means when we move scroll down just before reaching to the bottom it will fire this on scroll this scroll event which will invoke this on scroll method now inside this we will but before that we will define this scroll window equals to false it means when we have this div in a page and this div have a scroll there might be a case we have two scrolls one scroll for this div and one scroll for page so if i do not define this thing it will be set to true by default so instead of firing or invoking the scroll event from this div it will invoke that that event from the page scroll so that's why we are defining scroll window equals to false. it means we are not going to fire this event from the scrolling the window okay we will only fire this event from scrolling the current div where we are going to implement this functionality so this event will be fired this scrolled event will be fired from this div this div which have a search class oh sorry search results class so that is it inside that we will define another div which will have class data card and here we are going to iterate some items and we are going to display those items so and we are going to display at loading message also so below we will define a div where we will check ng if is loading then we will define this message loading so we are absolutely fine so let's save this and open the browser so till now we are not getting anything fancy here because we haven't defined our css so close this guy and open this as css file so let's define some css here 
so just define css for search results its height will be 30 rem and overflow scroll so if we save it and we see it we are seeing this thing here now let's display let's convert it to flexbox and its direction will be column its items will be aligned to the center now we will define some css of data card which have the padding 5px margin from top and bottom 8px and left to right 0 pixel its width will be 20 percent border 1px solid black font size 30px let's see so we have this thing here but we are not getting any border color here let's see why it is not happening okay so we haven't defined any color right now we are gonna define these two properties first thing is text align center and background color will be this now let's see so we are getting things perfectly when i scroll down it will be load or it will load 10 more items now it is loading more item more items more items more items more items more items and now it has stopped on item 100 so we have 100 items now we can see that thing now right now we have only 10 items if i move this scroll down it will load more items more items and more items so that's how the scrolling works okay you can see the loading message also here it is quickly disappearing yeah look here look here yeah that's fine that's it for today and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel you can also subscribe it i will see you next time